Hi friends, welcome to Circle Time. It's Monday. I hope you had a great weekend with your family and you did some fun things. Um, We're going to jump right in and do our welcome song this morning, okay? Can you sing with me? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you this special day? I'm so glad you came today. Hello, hello, how are you? All right, friends, we are going to review our listening song first thing, okay? So if you remember, here's our listening song cards. We're gonna go through it and remember our song, ready? Eyes, oh, teacher Jamie doesn't have them in order. Here we go, let's try it again. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen, this is how we listen at group time, at group time. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen. This is how we listen at group time, at group time. Good job, friends. All right, let's do our counting for today, all right? Let's look back here, and we have the number 11 was yesterday. So I wonder what number is gonna come next after 11. Do you know? Let's see if you're right. Let's count, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Did you say the number twelve? Awesome. All right, now you know what comes next. We're going to count to twelve in Spanish. All right, ready? Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce. All right. Nice work. All right, friends, this week we are going to talk about the letter A. Here's the letter, oh, I'm having some troubles there. Here's the letter A. And we have letter A for apple and A for airplane. You guys are gonna get this in your packets this week. It's a little poem about the letter A. I'm gonna read it to you. It goes, a, A, what can I say? Just what can I say about the letter A? Airplane and alligator start with A. Acorn and apple begin the same way. Anchor and astronaut start with an A too. As do apron and acrobat, to name just a few. Abracadabra begins with A. It is a magical word that I like to say. Ant and axe both start with A. Let's hear it for A. Hip hip hooray! All right, friends. There's a that's a cute little poem that you can read at home. And when you read it, you can take your finger and you can trace the letter A. A like that. You're going to start at the top, go down, and you're going to come back up to the top and go down and across. Then you're going to come over here to write the little a. You're going to go around in a circle, straight up and straight down. All right? That's how we write the letter a. I have another poem I want to share with you too. This one is on a big picture. Look at that, it's an alligator. And there's another poem back here I wanna to read to you guys. It says, Adam flies his airplane. So who do you think Adam is? Yeah, Adam is up here in the airplane, isn't he? The sky is clear and blue. 
Apple Ann in her apron chases ants and grumbles, shoo. <laughs> so here we have Apple Ann. She's an, what, what is this animal? An alligator, yeah. And so is Adam. Adam is an alligator too. Can you see him up there? Yeah. What else starts with A on this page? What are these? A apples, yep. And Apple Ann is wearing a, what is this thing that she's got on? This blue striped thing. An A apron. And all of these A ants. A starts with the S or makes the A. A makes the A sound, doesn't it? Um, so let's sing our song about the letter A. The A says A. Ah. The A says A. Ah. Every letter makes a sound. The A says A. Ah. Yeah. All right. So all of these things start with the letter A. There's so many little things in this in this picture that start with A. All right, isn't that a fun picture? We're gonna talk more about the letter A this week, you guys, and you'll find some um, things in your packet um, about apples, and which start with an A, don't they? All right, I wanna read you guys a book. This is a book that teacher Josie read last week. She read it to us in Spanish. And today, I'm going to read it to you in English, okay? Um, let me make sure that I have done everything that I thought I was going to do in our meeting, in our video today. I did. All right, let's read Pablo's Tree. Do you guys remember what we said this book was about? Remember, this was Pablo? And he does something special the day after his birthday. Do you remember what it is? Let's see if we can remember. This book is written by Pat Mora. So Pat Mora wrote the words. And it's illustrated by Cecile, by, by Cecile Lang. And do you remember what illustrated means? It means Cecile drew the pictures. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's read this story. I'm ready, Mama, I say. I'm ready for my birthday visit to Leto's. Hurry, Mama. I want to see my tree. I wonder if Leto, my grandfather, remembered. I, I wonder if he remembered to decorate my tree, I asked Mama. Did Abelito decorate my tree? My grandfather does not forget to decorate. Your grandfather does not forget to decorate your tree, Pablo. Do you have your suitcase? What new birthday toys are you taking to Abelitos? Asked Mama. I've got my purple car, my book about whales, my tambourine, and my flute, I say. Every year I spend the night after my birthday at my grandfather's house. We sit under my tree, we play with my new toys, and every year, Lito decorates my tree for my birthday visit. Maybe my grandfather forgot. Are you sure he didn't forget, I ask? I'm sure, said Mama. Please tell me, Mama, I say. Tell me what Lito put on my tree. Is it lights? Is it little piñatas? Mama smiles. Pablo, she says, don't you like surprises? Come, let's go see your tree. As we drive along, I ask, is it little animals? Is it candy? My mother just smiles and winks. Lito, Lito, I say, I'm here, I'm here. Lito opens the screen door. His face is happy like a full moon. Lito gives my mother a kiss and a hug. Lito, I say, I brought my new birthday toys. We can sit under my tree and play with my toys all day and all night. Lito and my mother laugh. Pablo, says Lito, hugging me. Como esta? 
Mi nito grande, how is my big grandson? I hope I said those words correctly. I give Lito a giant hug. He almost falls down. Pablo, says Mama. Be careful. But Lito likes my giant hugs. Let's go see my tree, I say. Hurry, hurry, Lito. I, I take Lito's hand and pull him to the back door. When I see my tree, I run to it. I touch the tiny, colorful bells and wind chimes. Ooh, I say. I run around the tree, touching the bells and chimes. The wind blows and my tree jingles and rings. I give Lito another giant hug, and again, I almost knock him down, but he just smiles. Mama gives us each a goodbye kiss. We take her to her car, and we put my suitcase in my room. Lito throws me an apple, and we take a big, the bag of toys out to the table under my tree. Lito plays my flute, and he says, Pablo, do you remember the story of your tree? I run around and around my tree. I touch the branches so that the bells and the chimes ring, and I shake my new tambourine. One day, my mother came to, to this house, I say. Yes, said Lito. Your mother said, I'm going to adopt a baby. I went... I went to the nursery down the street and bought a small tree. I said, this tree is for my grandson. Your mother said, Papa, what if the baby is a girl? I said, I love little girls, but this tree is for my boy. If it's a boy, he will have your name. He will be Pablo too, said your mother. Lilo stops and smiles. Then he asks, what did we buy for the new baby, Pablo? You and Mama bought bottles and blankets for me, I say. Yes, says Lito, laughing. We waited and waited for the phone to ring. We waited for the words, come for your baby. I watered your tree, but, but, it didn't, but I didn't plant it. I waited for you. First, I put the little tree in the front yard near the sidewalk. No, I said, this spot is too noisy for my boy's tree. And then you put it there, in the rose garden, I say. But you saw too many thorns. Then you put my tree here. One day, says Lito, the phone rang and your mother called. Her voice was full of smiles and she said, Papa, guess what? I said, when do I see my boy? Your mother laughed and laughed and she said, Papa, how did you know? I put your tree in my front door to welcome you. I washed my face and combed my hair. I looked out the window and waited for your mother's car. I went out front and walked back and forth on the sidewalk. Then I saw it. I watched your mother lift you out very carefully. I looked at you and I looked at me. Your mother said, hold him, Papa, hold Pablo. You, you fit just right in my arms. I said, Pablo, come and see your tree. Then I said, come, let's plant Pablo's tree. Your mother held you while I got my shovel and watering can, says Lee, said Lito. Carefully, I dug a hole and planted your tree here in the sun. In the sun. I say, and the tree grew and grew like me. On your first birthday, said Lito, I hung streamers on your little tree, yellow, orange, red. I carried you out to see them, and I grabbed them with my fist, I say. On your second birthday, I tied balloons to ev of every color. You ran around and around your tree, and I lifted you up to touch your balloons. You did not let me rest. On my third birthday, 
You put paper lanterns on my tree. And what was on your tree last year? asked Leto. Bird cages, I say. You put tiny bird cages all over my tree. And this birthday is bells and chimes. I raced around and around my tree. I touched the branches and they rang. Leto and I sit and listen to the wind. We listen to my tree. We munch on ap our apples. I ask, what will you put on my tree next year, Leto? Leto chuckles and winks. Pablo, that's a surprise. What a nice tradition that they have, isn't it? His grandpa puts something special on his tree every single year. I like that idea. That's a fun idea. All right, friends, we're going to say goodbye for today. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And we will see you tomorrow, okay? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I did that weird. It's time to say goodbye. All right, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow, okay?